welcome. Thank you for visiting my channel. I am glad you are here. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you are here for the first time, we are listening to 432 Hertz, Heartbreak of the Universe. I play this music when I am creating a video. For the people who do not know me, my name is Rochelle and I help beginners in affiliate marketing to navigate through the affiliate marketing jungle. I do tons and tons of research to bring you the tools that you need to create a greater online presence. I'm always looking for the easiest, quickest, and most cost-efficient way possible to create a greater online presence. Share up-to-date, relevant tips, tricks, and secrets all the time. Answer any questions you may have. Are you a beginner? Well, that's great. This channel is for you. No, you do not need experience. No experience necessary. Experience, no problem. Can you watch a video? Can you follow step-by-step -step instructions? You will need a computer and the internet. The rest, you can learn. Offer step-by-step -step video tutorials help you to be able to learn how to post links to make money from the comfort of your own home. Get paid for posting the merchant's links on a WordPress site, Rochelle. And I help beginners like you in affiliate marketing to navigate through the affiliate marketing jungle. I do tons and tons of research to give you the tools you need to create a business the easiest, fastest, and most cost-efficient way possible. I am always looking for new tips, tricks, and secrets to share with my audience all the time. I am an affiliate with the Share a Sale Network. And I also create step-by-step -step video tutorials that show you how to create an online business with an affiliate WordPress website and also learn SEO to rank on YouTube and Google and other major social media platforms. Are you a beginner? Great. I welcome you. This channel is for you. This channel is for beginners. Can you watch a video? Can you follow step-by-step -step instructions? Do you have a computer and the internet? If the answer is yes to all of these questions, then you have arrived at the right channel at the right time. If you're not sure on what affiliate network to join, or you're not sure on what products that you would like to promote, I've got a couple of playlists that I will leave in the link in the description and also if you look up to the right hand corner you will also find the thumbnails that you can click into and watch anytime. It is important to watch the playlist so you can follow along with me on any of my videos. I can answer any questions you may have and I'm happy to do so. This video is about search engine optimization and I take you into the back end of WordPress to create a post, the title, the description, the keywords, the categories. Also make sure that you do have the Yoast plugin because we will be working with that as well. I will make a separate video for a free WordPress website and doing the search engine optimization for a free site and that will be posted within the next week. 
So stick around. I give you just the facts. Let's get down to business. Okay, so you're going to sign into your WordPress. You're going to click on the plus and you're going to add a a post. The next step, create a page and get the page code. Custom HTML. This is the block, custom HTML. Right click and paste. Save your draft. Preview. Go to Google. Type in candy. And old fashioned. That is for me. You would look at your merchant's name of the company and you can get an idea of what it is that you are looking for. Go to images. These are the images that show people the types of candies and these do fit in so look at these your research is right at the search engine so we're going to research the title okay so we have candy old-fashioned we go back to our post and we are going to use the old-fashioned candy So I see the first thing that comes up here is old-fashioned candy and retro sweets from the past. So I'm just going to click into there. Exactly what I am of the merchant oldtimecandy.com so this is where you you want your image to end up is right here just going to save that for the draft. So you see here, these are the keywords, product names. 
So step our keywords. from product names okay and then step six is to make sure that we put a comma at the end of each keyword and copy our keywords Now I am trying to do this the quickest way possible to be able to do fairly short videos. This may be a little bit of a longer video. I will try to do it as short as possible but still give you the information that you need. So go into the document. Okay. So here at the side, you are going to see, here at the side, you are going to see tags. You just want to right click and paste all of your tags in. Save your draft your tags will appear here. Now you want to take your focus keyword, which is old fashioned candy. You're just gonna copy that and as a new category. to make sure that you don't have uncategorized clicked and you're going to click on add a new category so the new category name would be the old-fashioned candy and then you want to add the new category. Create our description from our keywords. Okay, so these are our keywords. So, how do you create a description? The way to create a description with your keywords is to look at your keywords and you could say, do, you, for me, this is for me, you can use your own, whatever your keywords are. thinking on the fly right here. You want to have different headings. So you can have different size of headings. Just click into heading. And here you have a choice. The size of your heading. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to break your your post into different headings. Okay, you've got your title, you've got your heading one. We're gonna go with our heading two. And we're just gonna pull up our information here. Okay, so this is my heading two. Are you looking for the old fashioned retro sweets you had as a child? So I'm just gonna have this as heading two. Now I'm going to have a little bit more information just in a paragraph. 
Now I've already got my description, I just need to put it on the page now. Do you remember gummy sour mini or gummy hot dogs? Those awful gummy worms. Okay, so like this is basically all about the gummies. Okay, so I'm just going to type this in. I'm just going to paste this in, sorry. I've already got it, okay. Now I am going to add another heading. And this is going to be heading number three. So we've already got heading number two. We're going to have heading number three now. So I'm going to put, when you eat your Smarties, do you eat the red ones last? Now remember, I didn't take a lot of time to think of these, so um, you might be laughing at this because of some things that I'm doing, but it will make sense to you when you do it. And then the paragraph. Now this is the way that I found out is the easiest way to create a post and be able to rank it on Google. And then we're going to add another heading. And this is going to be heading uh, number th four. Let's go into our heading. And we're going to do heading number four. Okay. Okay. If you want to add a parent category. you can choose a parent category or you could add a new parent category name or a new category name I'm just going to call this retro sweets so now this gives me both of my keywords that I'm using in my title so I have that them both in there And I also have my tags, even though it doesn't look like they're here, they are here. Now I want to set a featured image. Oops, sorry, name. We add categories from keywords. And now step six, step seven. we are going to set a featured image this is important part right here is setting a featured image because this image is what is going to show up here on this page To set a featured image, if you have your Pinterest pinning extension on the top, and I'm just going to you, you would just click into your Pinterest, and it should bring up some of your images. This is an easy way to be able to get images is just by clicking into this Pinterest extension. And as soon as they come up, I will show you. This is an, a, a way to get your images. These are your images here. And you can save them 
to your Pinterest. Another way that I found that you can save your images is by going into Tailwind. And I did a video on Tailwind and I will leave it in the description. But you just go into Tailwind and now you will see all of your images come up and now you can choose the image that you would like to see appear. After you've chosen your image, you can go and you can schedule your your images to go on Pinterest. So once we have... Now, to set a featured image, I am just going to go to the free images at Pixabay. And see what do they have there. And us candy jelly beans confectionery. They got a lot of candies here. This one looks interesting. Colorful candy fair. So I'm just gonna click that. You can just go get your featured image from Pixabay and then save and insert. Because this image, the featured image, is the one that will show up on Google. This is why you put a featured image in. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to go into your featured image. You could just go click into replace featured image. And even though you're not replacing it, but what you are doing is you are taking the information from your post and putting the information into your image. You here, and we're going to find something called the permalink copy that, uh, copy the link address. Now this is very important because this is the image that is going to be showing up in the Google search. Okay, so we want to paste that, all that, this information in there because this is the information you want Google to have where this image is located. Okay, so now I'm going to set the featured image. So I've got that information done. Just going to click on the update. I'm just going to take my title, copy it, go into Google. Okay, now here is a trick that I've learned. There is a place online, and I'm just going into it now. It's called Medium. And Medium can help you to rank on Google, and I'll show you how. Okay, so 
I have just started writing a story here on Medium. And uh, once this is completely in, I will show you. These are what you call window snips. This is my featured image that I used. And this is where it appeared on uh, in the Google search engine, right there. When I clicked into it, it came up as a bigger image and it showed me that it was from medium.com. And medium.com is this site right here. This is the original post with the actual um, image. Okay. This video has to be broken up into two parts. The second video will be the Yoast search engine optimization. So when you are ready to watch the second video, make sure that you have the Yoast plugin installed. Thank you for watching this video all the way through. I apologize that it is a, a more, it is longer than it should be. I tried to make the videos between 10 and 15 minutes. There was an enormous amount of information and I couldn't split it in two. It needed to be done all at one time. So if you have found this video helpful, then please give this video a thumbs up because when you show me that you like what I'm doing, I will create more videos of the same kind. And also, when you click the like icon, it shows YouTube that you like what I'm doing. And they will recommend my videos more, and this will help to support my channel. And it, in the long run, it will also help you. I can answer any questions that you have. There is a couple of places that are a little bit more technical and especially when it comes to the Yoast plugin. So if you have any questions, then just leave me a comment in the box and I will get back to you. Give me about 12 to 24 hours because I am finishing off this series of building an affiliate marketing business online and I am creating a ebook in which will you will be able to download sort of like a workbook that you can follow through it will have all of the videos that you need to be able to create your domain name and create your WordPress website customize your WordPress website and how to join the share a sale network this is still in the works but it will be being posted soon also if you would like to join the diy community which is a community of favorite channels that i have right up on my main channel let me know so that I will add you to the DIY community. And also send me a video or let me know what video you would like to be posted, to have posted in the, uh, the community playlist. The DIY affiliate channel was started in 2000 18 and I have gone through a lot of information I have created a lot of tutorials and a lot of things have changed but I am happy to answer any questions that you may have and if you'd like to see me do a video on a certain topic then leave that in the description and let me know. Repetition is the key. 
I know that I say this all the time in my videos. But when you do something over and over again, it becomes second nature. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but you can do it faster, you can do it easier, and you can do it in a more relevant way. And what I'm talking about is creating the links, the banners, the HTML pages, the gallery, creating WordPress posts, creating WordPress pages, or anything else that you need to do on a regular basis. Do you just want to have one website or do you want to have more than one website? Because when you get a domain name with hosting, you not only get the your domain name, but you can also have subdomains as well. And you can have, you do have more space when you have a hosting plan than when you have a, a free WordPress. You can create more than one website. And why not create a website with a desired domain name plus a number of different free websites? I have about 20 different websites and not all of them are finished. There are many membership sites that I am still working on. I am working on a membership site for the affiliates for the Share a Sale Network. And if you want to become an affiliate with the Share a Sale Network, the, I will leave the link in the description. And I give you my guarantee that if you have any questions, I will answer them and I will help you. And it doesn't cost you anything to join. But you do need to have the knowledge. You need to have the knowledge and you need to know what to do. So thank you again for coming on this journey with me. And I call it a journey because it is. Stay safe and have yourself a wonderful evening.